Well, boys, as you can hear, it is still unfortunately raining outside. But the bigger thing we have is, um... Yeah, the farm has unfortunately flooded. Um, I don't know how the razor is driving right now. I have no idea. It's actually very surprising. Um, I don't know how much of the shop or anything is actually underwater. I have no idea. Um, Holy crap, it's like, oh my god. Dude. Holy crap. Bro. The whole shop is flooded. No. Dude. The planter. Oh no. Yo, that planter is definitely gonna be done. The sprayer might actually be okay. The sprayer might be okay. No. Sprayer trailer definitely done. That truck, that semi truck's definitely done oh no dude all three semi trucks are done completely flooded there's no saving any of those Let's check the cotton harvesters. <laughs> Dude. These things are screwed. Yeah, the cotton harvesters are definitely screwed. Like, the case, the, pretty much the whole front end of the case is underwater right now. Are you kidding me, dude? I mean, it's kind of hard, hard to open up the doors. Service truck. <laughs> the service truck is definitely done, which, man, this... This is the part right here that actually kind of, like, really makes me mad. It's the whole width of the shop. Luckily, it didn't get... The house and everything was high enough to where it didn't get any of that stuff but holy crap dude I don't know I, I have no idea what to say right now I think what we should do is we should go check on the cotton field I know the cotton harvester is gonna be completely screwed I do know that it's also kinda hard finding out like what is the road as well it's also another hard part. Getting closer to Grandma's farm and holy crap, dude. I hope it kind of starts to die out over here. All of this is flooded too. Yeah, this cotton harvester. I mean, okay, this cotton harvester shouldn't be too bad. Uh, she don't run either. She's not starting either, so... Dang, man, that sucks. And I think some of the crops were destroyed. Yeah. I don't really care about any of this stuff right here, because all this stuff 
all of this stuff right here was planted already. Well, harvested, but all of this stuff. There's no saving any of this stuff. Holy crap, it gets even it gets worse down here. Holy. Yeah, this Like this just like this just really freaking sucks. Um Well, I guess we're gonna go back to the house and uh call the insurance company because I, I don't know really what else to do at this point so I'll see you guys when we get back to the house and maybe we can resolve this or something just got off the phone with the insurance company uh, it's now a couple days later obviously it's not raining anymore but as you guys can see down there Everything is still flooded. Um, they said that they're gonna have an insurance agent come out uh, tomorrow, look at everything. Um, they did say that for the field, we're gonna get around 520K in damages for the field, which is a good thing. <clears throat> And for the equipment, they said that they're going to pretty much just look at my books and everything that I have, the hour meters and everything that I have written down in a book, which is safe, luckily, at the house. And it's also electronically as well, so not really too much there. But um, they're going to look at that and whatever, each piece of equipment that we have, that however many hours is on it, um, they're going to price match whatever so if one of the cotton harvesters has you know a thousand hours on it then and it's selling right now for 700k then we will get 700k out of it and that's 1.4 million dollars right there if we don't get, if, if that does happen that's 1.4 million dollars that we're gonna get plus another million because the John uh, the case cotton harvesters are 500k a piece so we should be looking around maybe like a four million dollar payout here um, which is gonna be a really nice um, we can actually get that four million payout. It is now a couple days later, and got good news and we got a little bit of bad news. The good news is we will be getting some money um, for everything, which is good. We have 500k, I think 530k right now for everything that we have. Um, which means the bales and everything like that and the harvest from last year and everything like that we have so we have money left over from that uh, and then pretty soon here they said in the next couple of hours this confirmation call was pretty much to give them my bank account information and everything like that so they can wire me some money and uh, then this place is just gonna be a total loss um, the only thing that's probably going to be salvageable is obviously the, the, pro, the uh, hill that the house is on. And from there, I don't really know what else is going to be salvageable. Which kind of sucks, not going to lie. It really does suck that that's going to happen. Um, it, it, it sucks, but um, there isn't really much that I can do or really do anything. Um, 
sucks about the crops and everything like that, but I guess we're gonna list this place up for sale or give it over to insurance. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do yet, but we're gonna be doing something along those lines and uh, then we are gonna get a massive, massive payout, that's for sure. Well, bo <clears throat> well boys, I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is $3.7 million in the bank right there. I am quite excited about that. Um, that leaves us with $4.2 million to literally do whatever the heck we want with this. Um, this, this, this gives us literally full range to do whatever we want. Um... I don't know what quite exactly we we're gonna do, but insurance said once the money hits my account, this is no longer my property. I no longer loan anything, lo oh, loan anything, own anything that was listed on there as flood damaged. So pretty much everything. Um, obviously, uh, I could have included the razor on that part, but I didn't because the razor uh, has a snorkel on it and everything. So. It it's okay. Um, I should probably, you know, drain out the fluids and everything like that. But the razor is fine, and um, everything in the shed up here, next to the house, and obviously the Jeep and the Forerunner is okay. The ADAC is okay. The skid steer, that trailer, the Ram dually is okay. But we're gonna sell the dually. We're gonna sell. We're gonna sell some things. Um, and here's where it gets to the even worst part. The tractor, pretty much all of the tractor museum, um, was unfortunately not able to be saved. So all of those tractors, they are in another museum, by the way. They, they, they were moved to a new museum, but um, the engines is in them and everything. It's just there's, they, they, they can't run and they don't, they don't run and drive anymore. Some of them do. Um, the ones that we had sitting over at the store on one of their flatbed trailers, those luckily were okay. So we will be taking, I think, those two tractors, and then I think there's an old Model T as well that we're going to be taking. And that's honestly, we're not, we're not going to be taking much. So it does suck, but I'm just happy that we got the money and everything like that. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the friends if you enjoyed. If you're interested in getting a gaming computer, please click the link in the description for those of you. Epic Gaming PCs, absolutely fantastic computers. And if you guys use code SQUAD, S Q U A D, you guys can get 10% off. Use that correctly 10% off using code SQUAD. And uh, guys, this is unfortunately the way it ends for the Elk Mountain Wyoming farming series. It's sad for me. I know it's going to be sad for you guys. But coming next week, we have some great news. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yee. Yeah.